Hello Ratbags, it's Jade. Welcome to a armor showcase today. Every single armor crafted exactly the resources you need to make the first set and then all the resources you need to upgrade it and what else you can maybe find in the game files. There are some secret DLCs. How do people get the Odin set? I'm going to explain that and maybe show you a little bit more. So don't forget to like and stay tuned for the best in Valheim content. Let's go. So unfortunately you can't display majority of your armor items. It would be nice if there are armor stands added to the game in future. The only thing you can currently put onto a stand is helmets. So yeah, it would be really cool if we can actually have proper armor stands. So let's go through the very basics and some cloaks. You start the game in some rag pants. You can actually upgrade these to level two and they'll give you level armor two rating for each piece. So four total armor, not exactly that great. The durability is pretty rubbish on it, only 250. So yeah, you want to be upgrading to leather as quickly as possible. Now for leather, obviously you're going to need deer hide. If you include the deer cloak, there's four pieces in the leather set. It requires four pieces of leather to make and the rest of the pieces require six. So 22 pieces total. And it does have to be deer leather rather than the boar scraps. You also need five bone fragments to make the cloak. Now you can upgrade all of these pieces to get better armor stats and I'm going to show you how with the forge at the end. Full set of leather armor you're going to get 6 protection. If you add the cape you're going to get 7. If you start upgrading it then you can come away with 28 protection if you're wearing all leather and the deer cape. To fully upgrade you're going to need 126 deer hides. Now each piece you only actually need bone fragments for the cape but when you're upgrading it you need a lot more bone. And for all the upgrades afterwards, you are going to need 120 bone fragments for the complete set. So you get them from the skeleton men that spawn at night, you'll find them in the mountains, black forests, pretty much everywhere. With deers dropping between one and three pieces of leather, that's quite a few deers you're going to have to get. When you upgrade the cape, you're only adding one extra defense point though, to a maximum of four. Durability is not great at 400 at level one, but by the time you upgrade it, you've got 550 durability on all of the pieces. Top tip, make the cape first, then go ahead and make the helmet. You've still got your rag tunic and trousers. You can live with them until you get enough deer hide to make the rest. Don't even think about upgrading until you've got all four pieces of that armor set. Okay, so moving on to the troll set. Now, if you wear all four pieces, the helmet, the breeches and the tunic, plus the actual cloak, you get a set bonus, which makes you more sneaky, 25% more sneaky, in fact. Durability is decent, 500 apiece. So if you use the troll leather stuff, it's going to be 19 armor straight off the bat. Six apiece for the helmet, the tunic and the pants. And then obviously just one armor for the cloak. Fully upgraded, you can see each piece is worth 12. So that's 36 plus the upgraded cloak. So that's going to be 40 armor if you're wearing the full troll set. You obviously unlock the troll stuff by killing trolls. You can sometimes get up to three pieces of troll hide when you kill a troll, but it's not always guaranteed. To make all four pieces of the troll set, you're going to need 25 troll hide and 13 bone fragments, with the cloak being more expensive than the other three pieces. To fully upgrade it, you're going to need 66 pieces of troll hide, and you need more bone fragments for the cape and the helmet, so you're going to need 36 bone fragments. A little warning though as well, for the troll hide stuff, you are going to need to increase your workbench. You'll need level six. On average, the trolls drop anywhere between one and three pieces of hide. So even optimistically, you could say that you're going to have to kill maybe at least eight or nine trolls before you can maybe complete the full set. And then maybe have to kill another 10 to 20 trolls to upgrade it completely. Bearing in mind these guys spawn a fair decent amount in the mountain biomes but it's very hard or around the black forest sometimes on the edges of the mountains or around big forts. So next up is the bronze set. So bronze you're going to need to make a bronze ingot out of your tin and copper ores if you don't know already. You'll find both of them in the black forest and you're going to need five bronze for each piece and two deer hide. Once you've unlocked the bronze armor set chances are you're going to be in this one for quite a while. The gap between getting hold of iron or enough iron to make some of these armor sets is pretty wide and despite having the sneak bonus if you can actually spend your resources on bronze I think that's a better deal. You may be really super good at hunting so maybe getting loads of deer hides easy 
or if you know exactly where all of the trolls spawns around a mountain because you're close by you can go ahead and kill maybe the 30 to 40 trolls that you'll need to craft and upgrade it all instead it is going to be easier to just skip over to the bronze stuff it is heavier so you are going to carry a little bit more weight but the durability is double what it is for the troll set and the armor straight off the bat is pretty decent too level 8 for each piece so 24 armor at its most basic maybe combine that with a troll cape or a deer hide cape and you're gonna have 28 armor now to upgrade it it's a little bit cheaper as well you only need three bronze initially at least anyway then six then nine pieces of bronze to get to max as always as well make sure that you've got the right correct bench and you've upgraded it all level four needed at least now you only need the workbench to be level one to make your bronze stuff compared to the troll where you need to be level three so for the upgraded you can see we've got 14 armor per piece so that's 42 armor rating again combine that with a cloak maxed out at four and you've got 46 armor durability absolutely goes mental 1600 per piece but you do lose some movement speed when you upgrade to bronze as well you're looking at 23 weight okay so next up we've got iron now for iron you do need the forge to be just level one but it does cost 20 pieces of iron just to craft one single piece of armor you also need two deer high too this could potentially take you ages to get a full iron set it's pretty heavy as well so always make sure you've got some stamina potions nearby or lots of foods that will give you lots of stamina but with a base of 42 armor defense plus a small cape you're looking at 43 armor off the bat so it's going to cost 60 pieces of iron and six deer hide to make the full iron scale set upgraded each piece offers 20 so you go from 43 with a cape to 64 with a cape again you do suffer from a 10 percent movement speed penalty but durability is pretty decent although interestingly it's exactly the same as bronze if you're upgrading it's going to cost an additional five iron and you do need to be level three then 10 iron for level four and 15 iron for level five so that's going to be 90 pieces of iron to fully upgrade it all now iron obviously you do get once you've got some iron scraps and you get the iron scraps through the mud piles that you find in the swamp biome now you find these inside the little dungeons and you're going to need the key from defeating the elder god you've got to have the key on you at all times and normally you can find between three and maybe six or seven depending on the size of the swamp of these little dungeons where you can go ahead and dig for iron if you're feeling pretty adventurous and brave and it's maybe daytime you can also go looking around the swamp using the wishbone now you get the wishbone from defeating bow mass it is pretty good but usually it's much better for finding silver as the swamp is just so dangerous there's so many opportunities for creatures to come and get you and i find actually trying to find a spot that isn't filled with water pretty tough the only other good thing is that you don't need to spend any more resources upgrading it it just simply needs iron so next after that you're probably going to be going maybe for the wolf armor set now the wolf set is probably one of the hardest to actually fully complete it all depends on how you view completion though if you include the cape this is a four piece armor set although you get absolutely no set bonus so it's not imperative that you either get the helmet or wear the cloak the chest and the legs they both require 20 silver each and you can only get the silver by using the wishbone and going finding it in the snow biomes themselves you might have got lucky digging around and found a little bit but yeah you are going to need that wishbone to find it underground you do get a fair amount of silver there's usually quite big deposits and you'll probably get enough to make at least one piece if you are going ahead and harvesting it for the full set you're going to need 18 wolf pelts five for chest and legs six for the cloak and two for the helmet you're also going to need four wolf fangs one wolf trophy and two drake trophies plus one chain now you get chains from killing draugas and finding them in chests it's not too hard to get wolf fangs as well same thing just kill loads of wolves and you'll get some obviously the wolf trophy you'll get from just killing multiple wolves and you can get quite a few the drake trophy is extremely hard to get hold of though i spent two hours going around killing every drake drake i could in the mountains until i gave up and started looking up online what was going on and the drop rates for it are supposedly less than five percent it's because of this i actually started looking up how to get more creative mode in or how to spawn stuff in because i simply couldn't take it anymore so again you need to be level two in the forge to make the wolf armor set and i would say they're the, probably the most simple out of this with an armor rating of 20 straight off the bat it's pretty decent 
So even if you just manage to craft both of these, that's going to give you 40 armor. Then add another 20 from the Drake Helm and a fully upgraded Fur Cloak and you're talking about 61 or 64 defense straight away. Now I said there wasn't any set bonus, but you do get something out of the first. It is resistance to frost. You get this on the chest piece and you get it on the fur cloak. So make sure no matter what, you make one of them pieces first. I totally would go for the fur cloak as the first one you make. For the fur cape itself, you are gonna need six wolf pelt, only four silver and one wolf trophy. And fully upgraded, all four pieces, you're looking at 82 defense. Again, it does suffer from a movement speed of minus 10, and it pretty much weighs the same as the iron scale set. You're gonna need your workbench to be level five to fully upgrade it all. And pretty much, yeah, good luck finding them Drake trophies. If you know a simpler or quicker way, let me know. But I've heard some people take like 100 Drakes before they got one drop. But effectively, it's a super rare drop, a super rare item, and that's why it's the hardest piece to get in the game. It definitely looks really cool, it's just such a shame it's so hard to get hold of. So the last out of the major sets is the padded armor set. And for this, you're gonna need a lot of iron, lots of linen, and one, two silver. In fact, to craft all three pieces, you're gonna need 30 iron, 75 linen thread, and one silver. So it's probably the next hardest armor set to get hold of, just simply because of the biome it's in. Now the plains are where you find the goblins, and that's where you're gonna find flax. Flax is growing inside these little farm areas, inside these little settlements. Sometimes you'll find barley, sometimes it's flax. Not every settlement or not every goblin village will have both. So really hard to get hold of. Goblins are no joke. Even wearing iron armor, you are gonna get one or two shotted. They take a fair amount of damage if you're using obsidian arrows or some decent weapons, but the damage that they output is much bigger than any of the other creatures you've probably come across. So it's a real challenge getting hold of enough of the flax to make linen. You also have to have your forge level two before you can make this stuff. And you're also gonna need to unlock the artisan table, but we'll cover that in a second. To fully upgrade the padded set, you're gonna need 66 iron. Thankfully, you don't need any other materials like linen to upgrade, it's only just iron, but you do need to get your forge to level five to fully upgrade it. The weight is actually better than the iron set, it's actually only 23. They reduce the weight on the cuirass and the legs by five, but you still have a movement speed penalty. And unfortunately, this is also something super hard to get hold of right now because the goblins are so OP. So to turn the flax into linen, you're gonna need the spinning wheel. And before you can even craft the spinning wheel, you're gonna need to unlock the artisan table. And to craft the artisan table, you're gonna need two dragon tears and 10 pieces of wood. Oh, so you get the Dragon Tears from defeating Modor, and then that's done, you can go ahead and make the spinning wheel, which requires 20 fine wood, 10 iron nails, five leather scraps. At the moment, its only purpose for the spinning wheel is to make flax into linen. As said earlier, 75 linen, 20 each for the chest and the legs, and 15 for the head. I haven't discovered yet whether or not you can grow your own flax. As I haven't come across any flax seeds, I've only ever come across the actual flax growing. So yeah, pretty tough to get hold of going to the plains and getting all them goblins to get it. At least it's not dark metal, I guess, but you don't even maybe have to go near the goblins. If you can get in and out, grab any flax that's growing and just not actually fight them or try and run away, that may be a sort of way to do it. Each piece has 26 armor defense straight away. So again, that's 78 plus a fully upgraded cloak and you're looking at 82 straight away. Now, because you don't need linen to currently upgrade it, it's relatively simple to upgrade. You just need iron. Obviously, that's still hard to get hold of. But yeah, you can get this up to basically 100 armor defense if you fully upgrade it all, plus a fully upgraded cloak. And speaking of cloaks, there are a few to finish off this video. Obviously, once you unlock linen, you can go ahead and start making linen capes. They just look fancy. There's no actual benefits against cold. And I ain't gonna lie, I kind of wish they did have some sort of benefit. Maybe depending on what color or what resource you use to craft that color, it could have some additional benefit. Maybe a little bit of protection against poison, help your stamina regen, or something along them lines. The best bit about lending capes is that you can color them though. Red, blue, green, yellow, gray, and black. It does cost 20 linen thread, one silver, and you do need to be level two. It does cost an additional four linen thread to upgrade these as well. So you can get a level four armor set basically out of them. 
But again, that linen cost is pretty expensive. I really wouldn't bother with a linen cape until you had loads of linen spare. You really want to be saving that linen to make all the other padded stuff that you need. You can go ahead and use any other cape and it will still give you the same benefits. In fact, the troll one's going to give you more sneak, obviously if you're wearing the full set. And the wolf one is obviously going to keep you not cold. The only other thing linen capes have going for it as well is that their durability is pretty decent. 1650. That's higher than any of the other capes. And as of right now, if you kill some of the Lux creatures, these big ones that flood around the plains area, you can get some of its hide and you can go ahead and make a Lux cape. It is going to offer you resistance against frost, so it's pretty good for that. Chances are you've already got a wolf one by then and it doesn't have as much durability as a wolf cloak either. And to make Lox Cape itself, you're going to need six Lox Pelt, two silver. And then to upgrade it, it's just an additional two Lox Pelt, then four, then six. So as of yet, there is no additional armor sets in the games, not even spawning them in or cheating, except for the Odin set. Now the Odin set isn't DLC, well, kind of. People seem to think this means that it's coming out in the future. This is actually given as a thank you to all beta testers. Unless you actually took part in the beta and have redeemed the code yourself, you will not be able to wear this armor set. Go ahead and spawn it in, but you won't be able to do anything with it. It doesn't give any extra protections, and it's pretty much exactly the same as a linen set. And the Hood of Odin is pretty much bad stuff as well. The Hood of Odin is not very great either. Only level armor 1, so yeah, not that great. And I guess the last things to just quickly mention in case you haven't seen them, the Yule Hat is something that you can spawn in as well. It was like a Christmas item. You can't upgrade the Yule Hat, unfortunately. You might be able to craft it if you've unlocked certain things. I'm not too sure. And the last two items that you might not recognize is the Medjum Ford, which is pretty much a belt that gives you extra carry weight. You get 150 extra additional carry weight wearing this, and you buy this from the Trader. And the Diverger is a head torch. Now, it does take up a head armor slot, whereas the belt just goes on top of your armor. And that is pretty much it. I'm just going to go over a few tips on your forge and what kind of upgrades you need just so that you realize you can get here. You can get to level 7 at the moment in forge and workbench upgrades, but most of the items only require up to level 5 to be before you can craft or make them. Maybe 6. So there are going to be more levels added. I'm sure there's going to be more upgrades for all of these armor sets. So don't shout out this video isn't true if you're watching it months after it came out. I will do an updated one for sure when we get some new armor sets added. But yeah, let's take a look at the actual forge. So to make your forge, you're going to need your workbench, four coal, four stone, ten wood, six copper. Then after that, you can go and upgrade it. Next up upgrade that should unlock is anvils. Once you've got some bronze, five wood, and then you can get that upgrade. That'll be level two. Level three might be the anvil. You get 20 iron, five wood to make that one and it should unlock once you've got some iron ingots. The forge cooler you should be able to get once you've got fine wood and 10 copper. The forge tool rack you need 15 iron and 10 wood. And the bellows you actually need chains. So if you're not seeing any of these upgrades, go and check that you've got you found the ingredients or materials and then it should unlock that next upgrade. You also need to have upgraded it first to the corresponding levels before you get that next one. Just the last thing you do need to know about this, you have to have these little upgrades within range. And particularly the bellows, you have to have closer than any of the others. So do be careful where you put your bench. And lastly, the forge tool rack does need to be on a wall. And again, usually it's got to be very, very close to your actual crafting bench itself. And that's how you can get your forge up to level 7. The workbench, I'm sure you probably worked it out by now how to upgrade them. So I won't necessarily cover that that much especially as you have got to craft the majority of these stuff all at the forge. So there we go, Rat Bags. I hope that has been useful. Let me know if it has. What armor set are you rocking? What ones are you going to try and unlock next? And what do you hope to see in the future? We've got the Serpent Scale Shield. It'd be nice if there was maybe a Serpent Armor set that gave you resistance against poison. And it does look like the Flametal set is going to be used in the future, at least in this shield. But I'm going to go through some of that stuff in another video. So, until next time, Ratbags, I will catch you later.